pocket ox. Look at that outfit. So, guys, are you recording? <laughs> Our good buddy Mike at uh, Pocket Ox in Idaho, USA, sent us this Pocket Ox. I've been looking at these for a while now, wondering if they'd work. So he was nice enough to send us one. It is the cow. They have uh, three different ones, the bull, the cow, and the calf. I thought we got the calf, but he sent us the cow, which is the middle of the road one. So that is even better yet. Um, I don't know what's in this little bad boy. More line. Oh, wow. This guy really set us up, so it's awesome. We're going to give it a test. We're going to take a sled. We're going to throw it in the bush and see if we can't lift it out with it a little bit. Hopefully we don't break it. It says right here in the instructions, Mike, try to wreck it, so we're going to give it our best. A lot of you guys know that if you're out by yourself, which you shouldn't be, but some guys ride by themselves and they get stuck in a tree well or somewhere. The worst, of course, is on flat ground. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Especially in a tree well or a soft spot. This little baby, it's not that heavy, but this would get you, should get you out of that tree well. So that's what we're gonna experiment with today. And we're gonna show you guys if it's gonna work or if it's not gonna work. There could be some alcohol involved. So we're gonna do it later on in the day. <laughs> not early, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm pretty fired up because I've used a similar system in the years past, but mostly homemade, so this should work good. Me and my bro Randall here, we're going to give it a go and get you guys some true in-the-field results. Stay tuned. And if you're liking these videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel, guys. I'm a diva. <laughs> We're just going to open up the package and check it out, guys. See what's all in here. I'm pretty fired up to see how this works. Use this leverage. I don't know. It seems heavy enough, but we'll see if it's going to work. This is 2,400 pounds. That's pretty good in that little rope. I know what he's using that for, and that's what these are for, the carabiners. So you cinch it up. Each time you get this tight, you pull the other line tighter so that this can go back, out, and then you pull it back in again. Good idea. Carp and I had to do that. These are good carabiners too, holy man. So guys, this is good practice to figure out how this thing works. So do what we're doing. Go try it out in your backyard or wherever so that when you actually do get into a situation you need it, you're not spending a half a day looking at the instructions and trying to figure it out. Because everybody knows, you got limited time in the mountains, especially early season, right? It gets dark fast, so if you get stuck, you want to know how to use this shit. That's what we're going to do right now. Yeah, and we'll see if we can at least get it to move. So we're going to do a real world test, not real world. We're gonna do a little test to see if this pocket ox can actually pull that sled up the hill without breaking it. Nice to try getting stuck, but we got no more snow left. Next year, I can guarantee you we'll be trying using that in the mountains and we'll bring you a full, what do you call it? Brain fart. Why do I have those so often? Demonstration. Demonstration. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. I know sometimes, guys, that you're in, a, in the heat of the moment, you're in a hurry to kind of get unstuck. But take your time. Try not to wreck any trees. Take some straps that you can wrap around a tree to protect the tree. It also protects your ropes. And then you're not damaging nothing, especially environmentally kind of thing. Because you know how the tree huggers are nowadays. Let's give some of this a try. That's just extra. I like trying new shit. It's kind of fun. I'd much rather be having my shorts on and sitting up on the deck, drinking a beer. But this is fun. Oh, my jacket too. 
Oh, want a pepperoni? So anyways, so this is the stuff I normally carry with me for towing a sled out. Some really good rope. This is very high tensile rope, 3 8 And a link system for the front end so you don't damage nothing. Because you don't want to hook on the bumper. For this test, we're going to do it with these because I don't want to break the bumper. We were pulling a sled out doing the same thing off a snatch block. The sled was going down the hill and Buddy was going up the hill. Or the sled was being pulled up and Buddy was coming down. We're going through a snatch block. He got to the end and it cut through his bumper. Sliced it and went out, cut right through the metal bumper and didn't touch the, the, the cord. Whoa. It's amazing shit, this stuff. That's why it's probably expensive. So, this actually is kind of a cool little system here. You can get this on Amazon as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. So these just clip on, nice and simple, around the A-arms, or the spindles, sorry. That way you're not scratching anything or damaging anything, you're pulling on the spindle. Probably the strongest part of the sled. And then we're gonna take one of these carabiners from Puck Ox. We're going to, let's see how this is gonna work here. So we're gonna pull it towards us so that it kind of mimics being stuck and you're sitting on the sled or beside it, revving it and pulling at the same time. We're gonna see if it actually can be done. Most guys that get stuck in stupid spots have lots of trees to, to pick from. So this is gonna help us a bit, right? There's a sled. I don't know, this could take some experimenting, guys. I don't know, seems pretty strong to me. Oh, that's cool. Everybody knows that snatch blocks work really well for leverage. Okay. Oh yeah, hang on guys. Pakra sends you these really cool gloves too. I'm sure you can get them anywhere, but. <laughs> Needle. So the brake's not on. Let's close this back up. Okay, let's give her a whirl. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh, I went the wrong way. I wanted to pull it the other way. Okay, hang on. I'm going to redo this. Okay, see, so now we're pulling towards us. I guess you need these gloves because the line's pretty, pretty small. It's gonna get caught, it's gonna rip your hands or something. So let's see how we do here. Holy, that's not that bad. Look at that, guys. Look how easy it's moving that sled. I'm not even pulling on this yet. That's awesome. So now, if you were actually stuck, you could give it a little throttle and pull with one hand. Look how easy that sled moves. Rip, 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 rip. I mean, yeah, I got one on the hand on the throttle, one on the rope. Look how easy the sled moves. And I'm just pulling with one hand. That's awesome. I could see that working good. Now with the extra rope they sent you with the kit, I mean, I think you have to buy the extra rope. Breaking news from Pocket Ox, they're going to give you 10% off any orders using promo code DIGIT9. Reporting live, Top Gun News. That's awesome. Wow. What a cool system. That works good. 
just like that, guys. Nice little practice. You can be sure I'll be carrying this in my pack this year, just for situations like this when you get separated from your buddies and you get stuck in a bad spot. I think you whip this out and you'd be unstuck in no time. And you wouldn't even have to shovel that much. Cool, she's digit nine approved. So remember guys, this stuff's made in the US of A. It's good quality, high strength. It's a little more money. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, they're not cheap. But I tell you what, you won't even be thinking about it the first time you use it, I guarantee you. This stuff's the shit. I'm not sure what this is gonna be like in the snow. Uh, I'm guessing it'll be easier because you've got the track helping you, right? I was pulling a dead sled, guys. That's awesome. <laughs> it moved so easy. Wow. I mean, you don't have to be strong and tough like I am, but you could be a little wimpy guy too, like Dean or Landon. No. So then what I should do is put it back in its pack somehow, right? Nice and neat like. Sort of. So we're definitely gonna be taking this, I don't know what you'd call it. They are on Amazon. There's a link on our website to get this too, or on Amazon. We'll put the link below. Again, I said, if you guys click on that and you order through Amazon, we get a little kickback. Kickbacks are always cool. So we've got room for the other carabiner. There you go. That's gonna save you a ton of stress. It's so easy to carry. It could go anywhere. I could even put it in my helmet or my handlebar bag. I bet it would fit in there. Beauty, that works. And you know, everybody loves stickers. I'm gonna put it right here beside the Digit 9 sticker. I feel like we're a team. Love it. Why haven't you subscribed to the channel yet? Get on it. 